This is Cooking with Nick. And today we will be making the poor man's garlic bread. Here's what you'll need. Now first off, I want to say that the reason this is called the poor man's garlic bread is because the things you need to make it are cheap. Because French bread's expensive. So I have this much cheaper, more affordable option for those of you, like me, who don't have that much money. You'll need about four hot dog buns, preferably ones without seeds, garlic salt, of course, one stick of bad stuff, some butter, and optionally, some grated Parmesan cheese. Now, to make it. The first step is optional because the ingredient's optional. If you have cheese, then grate it. Now, you're going to need a lot, so you're going to need to grate a lot. My advice for what kind of, like, consistency you want it, go with the, these little holes. Because if you grate with these slots, the cheese doesn't melt as well. Make sure you grate with the smallest kind you possibly can. Now for step two. Now, step two is to take the four hot dog buns out, open them up, and lay them on a baking sheet. Now, why are they open face? I'll explain later, but for now, take your butter, which I've taken the liberty of softening, and just butter your hot dog buns. I recommend doing at least two passes on each one. You don't want to put too much but or too less. You'll find that's kind of the theme of this recipe, is hitting that kind of medium point. And just do that to all of them. This next step is probably the most important, since it involves the thing the bird's named after, the garlic. Just make sure that it's to your preferences. And at the same point, you should also add your cheese. And cheese is kind of the same. Put a, a fair amount on. I mean, so you're actually able to see, oh, someone put cheese on this. That's lovely. Because at restaurants, the restaurants, it's always like, oh, you want garlic bread? Oh, you can pay extra money to have cheese on it. Now, this next part I don't have down to an exact science, but I've, I've gotten it close enough. What you're going to want to do is to take the baking sheet and put it into your oven and set the oven to broil. Or if you don't have a broil setting on your oven, just set it to whatever the highest, like, temperature is. Since I don't exactly know how this works yet, just look in every minute or so to see how much brown it is. When the cheese is melted and it looks toasted, like a golden brownish, that's when you know it's done. I'd say a fair estimate would be about seven minutes. Once it's finished, as you can see, they're all a nice shade of brown now. Take them out and put them onto a plate. Now you have to do one more thing to them, so bear with me. The last step is as so. If you haven't already, cut the hot dog buns apart so they look more like breadsticks cut in half. This makes them look a lot more presentable. Plus it turns four into eight. And my recommended way of serving them is like an appetizer. You take a ramekin of some sort and then arrange them around the ramekin. This, and the good thing about this is not only does it look nice, but you can also fill the ramekin with a dipping sauce of your choosing. Anyways, there you go. Anyways, bye and have a day. Before you go, I have a few announcements over this lovely footage of my cat. I'm really sorry I haven't been able to upload in over a year now. I'm really sorry about it. It was a crazy year since I uploaded. Tons of bad things happened, like Trump. And I wasn't able to make as many videos. I was too busy with, you know, school. Anyways... I'm going to try to upload at least a video every two weeks, if at the very least every month. 
And I'll see if I can keep that schedule once school starts up again. That's about it. Take care.